Hello everyone and welcome to a snow day review. Just look at all that snow outside. And what better Beyblade to review on a snow day than an evolution of the worst burst Beyblade ever. This is my Echo Aegis. Now, okay, here's the thing, all right? I decided to evolve Aegis because even though it is terrible, it is probably one of the most iconic burst Beyblades in Chozy with the suction cup and things like that. And I think that this design works pretty well for it. Although there are some compromises, we'll get to this later. For now, let's take a look at the Echo Aegis Blade. So, of course, this blade is very similar to the actual Orb Aegis, and also kind of reminds me of Drasil with the way that it's shaped. How this thing is built is also pretty weird. You have these corners that have these um, headlight bricks that have studs on two adjacent sides. Then right here, you have these headlight bricks with some plates and then an ingot piece right here. And then this center 2x2 core is more of those headlight bricks with studs on adjacent sides. It all comes together to make a fairly small, but very compact Beyblade, so it has a decent amount of weight, as you'll see. And also, if we take a look underneath this sort of faceplate here, you can see that there are some metal balls inside that move up and down. And I did build this thing before Nightmail was revealed, so I predicted the gimmick. Uh, Takara, I will be um, asking for royalties. But it's a pretty neat little thing, so let's move on to the next part. The 4D chassis, or as Cherry likes to call it, Butt Booty Defense. Come on, Cherry, be mature here. <laughs> but So this thing is round, but it also has some bumpy bits to, I guess, deliver some kind of counterattack. The best way I can describe this thing is like a middle ground between 1D and 1D dash. But hey, new defense chassis, you can't be mad about that. And now for the tip, which unfortunately isn't quest. Let's be honest, if I were to put the quest on this thing, it would be absolutely horrendous. I might make a quest as like a meme, in fact I did like three years back. It's a short, you can go take a look at it. But instead I decided to give it keep. And it makes sense, you know, keep is a rubber free spin defense driver, quest is a rubber free spin defense driver. It makes sense, I swear. And besides, if it's an evolution, I want to give it something better. So yeah, that's about it for this little guy. Now let's get on to my favorite part of the video, the weight. Okay, so since it's daytime, you guys will actually be able to see the freaking scale. So the blade weighs 16.26, you see, not that bad. The chassis, very average weight, 12.62. And then the keep tip is 1.26. Altogether, this guy is... 30.16, so luckily it has broken through the 30 gram mark, which makes it a pretty decent weight. So now, let's get to the stadium. Alright, so let's test this guy out, and unlike the actual Aegis, it's just not gonna stay there. It does have a little bit of movement, but hey, at least it's not gonna perform like garbage. Let's start by testing it out against the other two standard Cyberspark defense types. So here we have Lucifer. Three, two, one, go shoot. I don't think it's gonna be a mystery. Are we just gonna win this battle? Wow! I didn't expect a KO, I just expected a really boring, drawn-out battle. Go shoot, let's give it one more chance. Go shoot. Whoa, it's going. It's going. It's, it's dying. It's, it's dead. It's dead. Let's put against Kerbius next. This guy's a pretty good tank. Although, it did get nerfed, so, uh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna launch Aegis first, because Kerbius loves to scrape on the defense tip. Very small hits. Yeah, see? Kirby is down. Go shoot. Go shoot. Alright, that was a much better launch on Kirby's end. So, uh, let's see who wins it this time. And... Alright, this time Kirby has won. That was a really solid launch there. Another boring battle. And the winner is going to be... Kirby is. Okay. Yeah, no one can dethrone the king of defense. Let's put it up against a stamina type, though. We have Ragnarok. Speaking of stamina, Aegis is actually a pretty good layer for defense. Or not defense, sorry. It's good for stamina in Chozy. Defense might be okay, but stamina-wise, I think it's, like, as good as Hercules. Alright, so Ragnarok won that one. I don't know. I feel like people kind of dismiss Aegis as a layer because, like... The driver is so bad, like, why would you care about the rest of the parts? But the other parts are still pretty good. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Well, since it's a defense type, let's put it up against an attack type. Here we have Steam Exo. Go shoot. Go shoot. Please don't explode. Oh my god. It burst. It burst. 
What if we angle launch it? What's gonna happen there? Oh, there we- Hey, hey! That kind of works. Maybe that's the tech. Let's try it again. Another angle launch. The defense type. Alright, I think... Ooh, that was a close one, but it still managed to win. Alright, so... Yeah, there's the tech for this guy. And that's gonna do it for this review. So, it's a pretty interesting looking Beyblade. Not too bad in terms of performance. That tip. Probably gonna be pretty good on Kirbyus or something. Maybe I'll test it up. Okay. Comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video.